What happens when you combine business acumen with philanthropy? And the answer is helping hearts. Individually, Gordon Morrison and Jim Tatchell are forces to be reckoned with. But together, they are an unstoppable fundraising team. They set up Helping Hearts, backed by the infrastructure of Stork Valley Rotary Club, as a county-wide campaign to support good causes after the COVID-19 pandemic, when many charities were struggling to survive. This year and next, they decided to focus on 12 organisations dedicated to child welfare, including Bishop Stortford's own Mencap charity, Grove Cottage. Through numerous fundraising activities, the campaign has raised £126,000 in 2022 so far, and with the cost of living crisis, this help is needed more than ever. As well as coming up with innovative ideas to generate cash, Gordon and Jim have put their boots on the ground. Earlier this year, they walked all 180 miles of the Hertfordshire Way, over two weeks at an average of just under 13 miles a day. They aimed to test the trek and raise money before inviting supporters of their sponsored charities to complete a leg each as part of a wider event. As they drive Helping Hearts forward, both Gordon and Jim are drawing on a wealth of experience in the business and charity sectors. Gordon, the president of Stork Valley Rotary, has been awarded an honorary doctorate from the University of Hertfordshire in recognition of his charitable work. He first became involved in the sector as chairman of Malcolm Sargent Cancer Care for Children and went on to set up a new charity called World Child Cancer, which provides treatment for youngsters across the world. After a successful career in construction, which saw him expand his family business into an international construction and support services company, Gordon established the Chaldine Group of companies to manage the Chaldine estate at Much Haddam. Jim is also a Rotarian and a member of the Stork Valley Council, in addition to his work as a hands-on trustee of Bishop Stortford Food Bank. He uses his business experience as founder of a clutch of companies, including Circadian FX, to lead Exidex, which stands for the Experienced Individuals Ideas Exchange. Its members work on commercial and philanthropic projects. Jim speaks French, German and Swedish, and before the pandemic was a founder member of English O'Clock, a language speaking group to welcome people of other nationalities to Bishop Stortford. His public service also includes stints as a school governor. The father of two is currently on the board at Hockrell Anglo-European College and previously served as vice chairman at Thorngrove Primary School.